So in this video I'm going to talk about what is the best camera for lockdown. <laughs> Hello again, uh, Matt Osborne here, MrLiker.com. In this video I'm going to try to maybe help inspire fellow photographers during this um, unusual period where we're stuck indoors. If you're the same as us living in the UK, we're kind of under lockdown at the moment so I can't get out and about to do my usual model photography. I've had to kind of go get creative and go back to basics and try to think what I can photograph in kind of within my house and kind of within my garden mostly. So in this video I'm going to talk about what is the best camera for lockdown or what is the best camera to use within your house. So I guess you could use this in the winter months as well potentially. I guess there's a spoiler and as you probably realise yourself from the title there's not one particular camera which fits all ticks all boxes for kind of this lockdown photography how, how should we call it um photography at home without a model <laughs> solitude photography in your house so there's not one camera but um some cameras are much better suited to this style of photography than others so what i'm going to do in this video i'm going to talk through some of my cameras that i use and point out whether it's a good camera for this situation or not. I've got a Leica around my neck, my probably most used camera, Leica M3 film camera. Now, the Leicas are rangefinder cameras, which means they don't normally focus closer than either 0.7 meters or one meter. So this means, unless you have a massive house or big garden, you're kind of really limited in terms of you can't focus on anything close. So, I quite enjoy things like macro photography and close-up photography when you're really stuck for ideas and trying to get creative on the most basic things in a really small space. So I'd say the first camera that's not suited to how we're going to call it lockdown photography is the Leica, Leica well this is an M3 but any Leica M camera isn't really suited to this staying at home photography. There is a but and I'll show you that now. Now if you're a fellow camera geek like me, you can get adapters and particular lenses which let you, let you focus close with a Leica M camera or sorry, a Leica M camera or a, this is a Barnett Leica, so most Leica cameras. I'm only talking about rangefinder cameras at the moment. This adapter makes a normal lens into a close focus lens and even on a 1930s camera, you can still focus instead of it being one meter you can focus so i think it's 0.4 meters which makes it much more possible to photograph bits and bobs around the house so i'd say option one get a close close focus adapter if you've got a leica and that's where you use and by leica i'm talking about leica rangefinders so first option close focus adapter on a rangefinder you'll only be able to do this on interchangeable rangefinder cameras such as uh, I like her. Some cameras you can't do it on is, for example, this little Voigtlander Perkyo folding camera. It's an amazing camera and if you are allowed to get out and about, um, we're allowed in the UK to take daily exercise once a day. So if I wanted to run and carry this in my back pocket or cycle, as long as I'm not going out just to take photos because I might get fined by the police because you're supposed to be out to do exercise and only if deemed necessary. So probably shouldn't be recommending cameras to run with, but if I was to run with a camera, it'd be a Voigtlander Pukio. This is a Pukio 2. Um, good for outside the house, not good for inside the house. So if we're sticking to the theme of only inside the house, this is ruled out, but at the moment I can use it because we can go out and about as long as it's not obvious so where there's no people and no police so another range finder camera which isn't suitable in my eyes this is a, a fuji gf gs645 range finder camera it only focuses as close as 0 0.7 meters so again it's not really ideal for photography around the house so i'd say no to this Another amazing camera, which I need to do a review on at some point. This is a Mamiya 7. Um, I haven't used it much recently, but I've got different lenses for it and it is a very good camera. 
not a good camera for lockdown photography but a good camera for afterwards just as a comparison until I get around to doing a proper review a mere 7 a mere 6 a mere 6 is also not suitable for this type of photography where you stick in the house but it goes more compact because the length the lens goes into the camera so at some point I need to do videos on these cameras but neither of them are suitable for my style of what is ideal for photography in the house I say unless you have a massive massive house or massive garden okay so these are all the cameras which are not suitable now let's try and look at some cameras which are more suitable if we go back to the Leica for a second if you've got a uh, Leica mirrorless camera such as a Leica CL or Leica SL these cameras you can use adapters to then attach any lens onto the camera body which means you can use close focus lenses on a Leica from a different brand for example so you could use a macro lens from a Canon macro lens or some vintage lens for an adapter to let it focus closer so this is one option and it's probably the most common one for people to use in terms of people that are shooting with Sonys and Fujis and things like this because these mirrorless cameras let you use adapters to focus really close and you can see to focus with any lens using these cameras so probably the easiest option especially for digital shooters if you're a digital photographer watching this channel mirrorless cameras really easy to do macro photography and close-up work even with a Leica if you use an adapter but not an M camera but you can use like an M camera with live view but you need to use it's much much easier or an EVF on the top on so on, say an M10 or an M240 but it's much easier to use a mirrorless such as the SL or CL so that's for digital shooters personally I don't find digital very rewarding or very inspiring so I'll be more likely to shoot nothing than to photograph bits and bobs around the house with digital I don't find it very demanding and I don't find it particularly interesting so I just tend not to do it film or nothing really uh, digital I do use but I use it for testing when I'm shooting with models which is outside okay more cameras which will be useful for in the house photography another popular camera that I'm still not yet reviewed the Mia 645 it's a little bit like a Hasselblad can see them together um, I guess my mirror first you can get it's got one on at the moment you can get close adapters to let the lenses focus closer these are quite rewarding because they're with a waist level viewfinder you kind of looking you can look in through the lens at what you're getting and it's kind of um, it's quite a nice way to do photos so one option for 645 format film for me a 645 I will do a review at some point if you want 6x6 waist level viewfinder Hasselblad again with a macro ring both these cameras without the macro adapters won't focus that close so they're not ideal but if you buy the adapter on eBay you can use your existing cameras for in the house photography and so if I have to say, what are my top three cameras for lockdown photography? I would have to say, I'm trying to think in what order, I'll do it in reverse order. So in third place, because it's probably the least, the fewest, fewest people will have this camera. And so it's probably a bit less accessible and it's more expensive and more costly to use for every photo that you take is large format photography again I need to do a review this is a Intrepid Mark II 4x5 large format camera because it's a bellows camera you can focus as close as you want within reason with most of the lenses meaning you can do macro and like flower photos and things with standard lenses which I think is pretty cool 
I use medium format backs and standard film backs, um, which standard sheet film, which is 4x5. Excellent choice if you have a lot of time and really struggling for ideas. Highly recommended and they're very affordable. I will do a review when I get a chance. That's number third place. In second place, this is, this is a new acquisition. Are you ready? You can probably tell by the... I'm going to do a review on this, hopefully today. Ta-da! This is my new baby. It's, it's up there with Lycas in terms of absolutely beautiful and a joy to use. This is a roller cord, but it, you could use a roller flex or any other TL, TLR camera. Why is it suited to lockdown photography? Because you can get close-up adapters which go on the lenses. And I'll show you this in the proper roller cord camera review. But you can kind of get a adapter one or an adapter two. And the, the different ones let you focus at different distances from your subject. But they do get really close. And it's really rewarding to shoot with this viewfinder. So this would be my first place except um, shooting 6x6 film. It probably is unofficially my first place. But I need to be kind of more practical because it isn't designed as a close-up camera for things like macro photography. That's why it's in second place for use and for enjoyment. It's first place, no question. And I'll do a review on this soon. As in like really soon, hopefully today. Second place, a TLR, like a Rolly Flex or Rolly Cord. The reason I've put this higher than the Hasselblad or the Mamiya 645 is it's much more enjoyable to use. The screen is so much better. Uh, I've got Mamiya RZ as well. Again, great screen, quite a big camera. Bellows focusing, so you could use it for macro photography, close-up photography, around the house photography. I think the roller cord is still more enjoyable to use, but the RZ screen is um, better than a Mamiya 645 and a Hasselblad screen, even with the good screens on Hasselblad, because I use the good screens. Okay, first place, what is the most suited camera for around the house photography? Now this is based on what cameras I've got, so you'll probably be able to think in terms of what cameras you have. First place, a standard SLR camera with a macro lens on. This is, happens to be a Nikon FE2. I've got a FE and an FM, and then I've got F4, F5 autofocus. If you want manual focus, I would pick my FE2 with my micro nickel 55mm lens. Amazing lens, crazy, crazy sharp. If I wanted an autofocus version setup, I would probably use my Nikon F5 with the 60mm micro lens on. Also very good. So the best camera for lockdown photography is an SLR with a being attacked by insects with a macro lens. If you want a macro lens to go even closer, you just put extension tubes between the lens and the camera. I would do a separate video on macro photography because I've started to do it a bit to keep myself entertained. So I can show you macro photography with a few different cameras. I think the sun's moving, so I'm probably completely overexposed now. So I'll cut this short. But best camera for me for lockdown photography in terms of most suited. Nikon FE2 with Nikkor 55mm micro lens which is a macro lens most fun to use camera for lockdown photography roller cord best digital camera for lockdown photography that i own like a cl using um lenses older lenses via adapters um i hope you found that general ramble about some cameras um useful and what i can do at the end of this video i'll share a few photos of what i've been shooting around the house in the last couple of weeks Going to house and garden. Looking forward to shooting models again, but in the meantime, it will give me a chance to shoot some uh, camera reviews and videos and develop film. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.